Hello, Jack from the Notebooks team here, and I'm going to demonstrate our new feature as part of the Anaconda Toolbox, which is code snippets. Now, these are the same code snippets as you would use in the Toolbox for Excel, um, obviously with more of a focus on Python. So the first problem we are tackling with these um, code snippets is probably the most repeated task in a Jupyter Notebook, uh, which is the import statements. So every time you start a new notebook, you have to import the packages you want to use. Now, the most common workflow here is to find an old notebook, copy and paste those import statements into your new notebook, um, or just rewrite them out every time, which is incredibly inefficient. So instead, what we can do is press the new code snippet button directly in the cell and say these are my data science imports and I'm going to save them to my project. So now you'll see that these this code snippet appears in my toolbox over here and when I go to um, start a new cell I can just one click and start working. So you see that's already quite a Quite a big time saving, well, maybe not big, but you know, 10 20 seconds every time you start a new notebook. Um, and we can extend this further to more complex use cases. So, for example, here I have arguably the most common second step when I'm using a notebook, which is to load some data. Now, again, it's not particularly difficult for me to write this code out every time, but it is incredibly repetitive. So instead now all I have to do is replace the URL that I want to load each time and I will see the top 10 rows because I prefer seeing 10 rows of data than five, which is the default. So again, I've saved this as a code snippet and I can come in and instantly sort of automate those first two steps and customize this code snippet in any way I need to. Finally, we could take this another step further um, and use it for things like templates. So for example, if I'm a big fan of, fan of using Plotly and I know I like to set up my charts like this with a dark theme, with the legend at the top so it's obvious, um, and the color of the lines to match the axes, I don't really want to do this every single time I create a dual axis line chart. So instead, I just have a section at the top where I choose the data that I want to insert and then the, the code snippet will take care of the rest of it for me. So if I save this as dual scale plotly chart, again I can come into, well, I can go and reuse that any other, any other notebook that I want to. Now one common theme here is that you're obviously going to be using this and then you might realize that you need to make a change so we can do that directly in JupyterLab here um, so for example if I realized or decided for whatever reason I want to use plotly white instead of plotly dark I can do this I just press command s to save and now when I try and use this code snippet it will be using the white theme instead so you see this gives you value in time savings, but also consistency in your work, um, your work and when we've got the permission sorted, you'll be able to share these code snippets across your teams as well. So if you've got this template chart that you think we should use consistently across the company, um, that's something that we, we can now do very easily.